There are six things you should avoid if you're actively trying to buy a home right now. Hi, I'm Rob with the Rob Crop Team here for your Real Estate Monday Minute. When you're purchasing a home, the banks are looking at you and your financials to determine if you will be a safe candidate to lend money to. A lot of money to. And so it's understandable that they want to know about all your income, where it's coming from, and what to expect from you as a borrower. So here are six things to avoid while you are on the hunt for your next home purchase. Number one, don't make any large purchases, especially on credit. Any large amounts of money spent can affect your overall debt and income ratio and can change what you're able to borrow. Number two, don't apply for any new credit accounts. That means no cars or boats or furniture sales. Number three, don't close out any accounts. Although you think it might not look great to have all the open accounts, a large part of your score is based on length and depth of credit history. Number four, don't co-sign for anyone. If you co-sign for someone else, that debt goes against your total debts. If you needed a reason to tell somebody no, let this be your reason. Number five, don't switch bank accounts. Lenders are looking at banking history and generally need a 60 days worth of history. So starting a new account could mean postponing your home buying purchase a couple months. And number six, don't make any large deposits of cash. Lenders need to source where money comes from and cash is not easily traceable. Check with your lender before making any large deposits. At the end of the day, if you aren't sure, always check first with the lender. After the sale is over, things are a different story. But until that day, keep that finger off the Amazon purchase button. If you're interested in learning more about the home buying process, give us a call today or slide into the DMs. We look forward to helping you.